What is smog? How it affects us and how to get rid of smog? Air pollution that reduces visibility is called smog. The term smog was discovered in the early 20th century to describe a mixture of smoke and fog. The smoke usually comes from burning coal. Smog was common in industrial areas and is still a common sight in today's cities. In the modern period, most of the smog we see is photochemical smog. Chemical smog occurs when sunlight interacts with nitrogen oxides and at least one volatile organic compound in the atmosphere. Nitrogen oxides come from car exhausts, coal power plants, and industrial emissions. Volatile organic compounds are released from gasoline, paints, and many cleaning solvents. When sunlight strikes these chemicals, they form molecules in the air, ozone, ground level, or smoke. The ozone layer in the atmosphere protects us from dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun. But when this ozone layer is near the earth, it is harmful for our health. Ozone can damage lung tissue, which is especially dangerous for people with respiratory diseases such as asthma. Ozone can also cause itching and burning eyes. Smog is unhealthy for humans and animals and it can kill plants. Smog is prevalent in big cities with a lot of industry and traffic. Cities and basins surrounded by mountains may face smog problems because smog is trapped in the valley and cannot be dragged by the wind. Many countries, even the United States, have introduced laws to reduce smog. Some rules include restrictions on chemicals that any plant can release to the atmosphere or when the plant can release it. Some societies have hot days where residents can burn waste, such as leaves in the yard. These restrictions on chemicals released into the air decrease the volume of smog. Smog is still a problem in many areas. All of us can do their part to reduce smog by changing some behaviors, such as walking, biking, car sharing, and public transport use whenever possible. Take care of the cars, having regular adjustments, changing the oil on time, and inflating tires to the right level can improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. Refuel during the coldest hours of the day, at night or early in the morning. This prevents gas fumes from heating and producing ozone. Avoid products that release high levels of volatile organic compounds. For example, the use of low paints VOCs. Avoid gas-powered yard equipment like lawnmowers. Use electric appliances instead. Exposure to smog can lead to different kinds of short-term health problems due to their ozone content. These include coughing, throat or chest irritation. High levels of ozone can irritate the respiratory system, usually lasting a few hours after exposure to smog. However, ozone can still damage your lungs even after the symptoms have gone away. Worsening of Asthma Symptoms If you have asthma, exposure to high levels of smog can lead to asthma attacks. Difficulty breathing and lung damage Smog can make it difficult to breathe deeply especially during exercise, according to the Mayo Clinic. This is because ozone impacts lung function. It is important to keep in mind that smog affects everyone differently and that some people are more vulnerable to its harmful effects. Children, the elderly, and people with asthma should take special care in smog days.